My name is Tom O'Neill, I'm the Harbor Product Manager, and today we're going to just go quickly over each of our vehicles and to get a little bit more detail about them. So, Automotor sells AMRs, not AGVs. AGVs use magnetic line following or targets on the walls to navigate. If you look around our booth, we have nothing on the ground, nothing on the walls. Autos are purely autonomous. You take a vehicle, you put it inside a facility, drive it around once, and it maps the area, and then you can add in lanes or zones or one-way zones, stop signs, any kind of rules of the road that you need, and then the vehicle will obey those rules and then uh, predict a, a reliable path. This is our 1500 vehicle. Uh, currently uh, has a lift attachment on top of it, and it is driving into a pick and drop off stand. So our 1500 vehicle can hold up to 1900 kilograms. It has, uh, with the lift on top, is 400 kilograms, so that's why we call it 1500. And it also has different attachments. It has a conveyor attachment, it can have uh, whatever custom attachment that you need for your facility. Um, it has uh, auto charging on the back, so it's an industrial design. Um, and two LiDAR on the corners, front and back corner, and then 3D cameras. And what we're able to do now with the LiDAR technology is we're able to do a thing called steerable fields. So we'll actually turn our field, like you have with headlights, around corners. Our top speed is two meters per second, but if you have a race side by side, you're not really gaining much on the straightaways. It's around corners that you really gain the speed back. So as you see, when it comes around this corner, it can go around this corner at about 1.5 meters per second, which is very fast on a tight corner into the back. Um, this 1500 is also CE rated, as well as our 100, um, so that's for sale in Europe. And it also has a variety of different attachments that are available for it. You can see on the sides that it has uh, access panels to access any maintenance fees, any uh, uh, preventative maintenance or fuse replacement, those kind of things, very easily. So I'm going to get into the 100 analysis right here. And you can see the 100 that's driving around me right now knows that I'm in the way and can predict and change how it's going. So that's the nice thing about the LiDAR technology, is that we are adapting to things in the way. If there's a blockage in front of us, we will see that blockage and we will navigate around it. We don't stop, we don't wait, we don't bring down production. We find a different path to do that intelligently. And if it does get too close to you, it'll safety stop. So it's a very safe system with a safety rated LiDAR. Software can do a lot, but the hardware always makes sure that we go in safe and controlled manner. Uh, this is our 100 platform. It can uh, handle up to 150 kilograms. Um, and it mainly has these cart kind of workflows. So if you want to order a drink, uh, the, the vehicle will go underneath one of these carts, pick it up, and then bring it over uh, to the drop-off point over there. We also have an integrated system, uh, the same thing with the 1500 attachments, on the top here. So you can put a conveyor on top of this um, or a uh, end of arm tool. Um, industrial design as well, this is not skins. This is stainless steel metal, um, so very uh, robust. And also, uh, we can hit it with a forklift and it'll keep on running, which some people have. Um, LiDAR is at the front, but we do have the 3D camera at the front, which allows us to detect overhanging obstacles. Um, this allows us to navigate and make sure that the autonomy software just uh, chooses the path where to go, where it's not going to hit things uh, above it. We also have an ESOP at the front, an ESOP at the back, and this uh, engagement plate, and the whole thing is CE rated. And now we're getting into the lifter, which this is our newest product. Um, it has 1,200 kilogram capacity, up to one meter tall in uh, autonomous pick, and, uh, pick point, and up to 2.7 meters high in uh, manual mode. You see the manual tiller on the back, that's used to actually uh, pick up and, and just like a normal electric forklift, drive around and do any kind of work that you might not want to do autonomously. Um, an operator can come up to the vehicle, uh, take it away and do some pick and movement, and then easily reset it, which I'll go through after, uh, to continue on the autonomous workflow. We have sensors at the front of the tines, and at the back, and at the top, to make sure that the payload is stable on top of the vehicle. We don't have an operator all the time in order to actually adjust and see that it's unstable, so we use these sensors to make sure that we have safe navigation all the time. And then on the back as well, you we have the two uh, corner LiDAR and the LiDAR in the front. And that allows us to navigate just as smoothly as the 1500 with that steerable field set technology. And the nicest feature, I think, is the pallet detection. So we use a, a camera at the front, and we actually scan the front of a pallet to identify where it is. 
So we don't have to have any, anything on the floor. There's no infrastructure. Just wherever the pallet is placed, we'll scan that position and adjust where we're going to get to that point. Um, so we actually look at the very face of it. So now I'm going to go over to Lifter. I'm going to put it into manual mode. Now I've switched over to manual. I'm just going to grab the tiller itself, and then I can control it. And I can move it around and pick off shells and other things. Leave it anywhere in a map position. Go back to auto. Now, if uh, you can see the screen from the side, it says, do you want to retry the mission that you're doing? Say, yep, I'm going to retry it. And they'll take off autonomously and continue doing the work that I was doing before. If you have any questions about any of our products, please feel free to talk to any of the uh, salespeople around. Thank you so much, everybody.